Hello and welcome to Rule of Thirds, a conversation about art, design and culture with your hosts Burns, Mike and Jude. If this is your first time listening, welcome to the family. Be sure to follow us on our Instagram at Rule of Thirds Pod. Don't be shy to say hi. A question about the arts and the craft. If you didn't know, then it's good that you asked. You tune into the culture. Just a rule of thirds if you want to. You could tune at work, yeah. You tell me, does that frame fit good? Does it feel right? You want to steal a photo for your website. But you want a logo we can design, right? Yeah. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. We are the Rule of Thirds. My name is Jude. My name is Burns. And my name is Mike. And this is another episode. Um, how's everyone doing? This sounds... <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so like ASMR. Yeah, 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 it's, 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 it's more kind of a... You sound very like new age. <laughs> Do, wait, we've all seen Swarm, right? Yes. No. Wait, what? I, I, you know what? I feel like I know why Burns didn't watch it yeah. though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear it. You know what it is? Yeah, for me, like, if the first episode of like a series is just tapped... <laughs> I'm just nervous. I saw one scene in it. I was just like, I just, I know what it's yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm gonna check out from here. Yeah. Even oh, yeah, yeah. exactly. That's exactly. Uh, even, I just know Ben saw it like uh-uh. said, <laughs> <"It's> not Christian. It's <laughs> <laughs> not God. Not today. <laughs> no, it's here. Sometimes, like, even I stopped watching Power for a bit because it's like, yo, Power was overdoing it. You're right. You're right. <laughs> it's like, yo, come yeah. on, man. There was no need for some of the scenes. <laughs> some of the scenes were like, I hope they got paid extra because, oh, but no, I think they signed a new well, clause. Hey, yes, Power. I'll play it. Just like, it doesn't add to the, the, <laughs> it does, it it does, the story. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't put it's the story for, It's for their audience. They know what they're doing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fan service. <laughs> okay. Imagine you've just finished a project <laughs> and the client wants to complete over. <laughs> Hey, hey! I mean, firstly, the contracts are very important, man. Guys, c- contracts here yeah, will save you from a lot of stress. What have I got in my contract at the moment? Hey, I've got basically. I think my match change it though. So if you're watching this now and you want to work with me, you may may have changed by now. <laughs> um, but basically, you pay whatever you've paid. Mm-hmm. And if you want to terminate the contract at any point, mm-hmm. you can terminate it. But everything that you've paid before, <laughs> that's been taken. Property of yeah, burns. it's now it's now mine. <laughs> burns. But overall, I w- the thing is, I think I've not even think I have been in situations like this before, mm-hmm. um, and be honest yeah, so, so, that's what I'm thinking do I give the the, be honest. the p- politically correct up to you man mm. it's your brand <laughs> don't do that don't, <laughs> don't. <laughs> that is wild don't do that it's our brand <laughs> no this is you're talking, you're talking as Burns we're not talking about rule of Oh, you're, oh. you're talking as Burns this right does now. not reflect the thoughts yeah the nah this is you bro so you. this one back it doesn't reflect Burns but <laughs> <It doesn't reflect. laughs> but um, I can't lie if you want to complete overhaul you're probably not serious Ooh. and you're wasting my time. Oh, um, so yeah, I probably wouldn't take it on. Okay. You're wasting my time. And I think to have an overhaul means you don't know what you want. This came from a place. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. came from a place I just clocked. <laughs> yeah. Deep down. Deep down under. <laughs> Woo. Uh, Michael? <laughs> if you know, you know, innit? it. Uh- <laughs> I feel like um, I guess the first first thing I'll do is probably scream. <laughs> uh, it's a good place to start. Yeah. Uh, sometimes yeah. you need a release. Of course. Of um, course. Yeah, you, know, you just scream. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. it in the in the pillow? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. Okay, just Lamar. Ah! Um, and then <laughs> sorry, the, wait, who's the bottle? Like, <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, <laughs> I'd probably assess everything and be like okay how did we get here i'll do an inter- internal assessment especially if we like mm. have done like initial ideas and like we've agreed on a style or direction and then i've like completed that and if you then have got to the point where you want to like completely redo everything by the way you, you says you finished the project oh, finish. finish. uh, deliver uh, imagine you finished the, deli- uh, the deliverable okay, okay. They're like, um, <laughs> yeah, well, obvi- final sign off everything. <laughs> okay, then yeah. that means one, and I need to make sure I get paid because we finished. Yeah. But if you want a complete rehaul or overhaul, I will have to talk to you and ask why. 
get your own thoughts on why you want to do this, what you weren't satisfied with in the previous direction, especially if we've covered all this ground and you've been happy before. Because that's the most important thing for me. Like, I need to understand where yeah. we're, how we got here. And then maybe think from my own personal capacity, can I take this on? Do I want to do a, a re- rehaul? Should you maybe... I've done this many times. Do you want to go with somebody else? Yeah. Who do, maybe do you recommend might, other people? Yeah, definitely. Especially if I don't have capacity, I feel like I can't I do recommend my the thing. <laughs> <laughs> but like maybe if I feel like the style or the direction they might want to explore, depending on what they share with me, may fit with somebody else's, mm. then maybe do that. If I have the mental capacity as well, because I can't lie, sometimes... Some, sometimes I won't share it with anybody though. Mm. Reason why is because... I feel like I'm giving them a burden. I hear you. This is why I say I give it to my enemies. <laughs> I hear you. Again, it all depends what comes out of this conversation. If I feel like the person is an op, I'm not going to. But if yeah, I feel yeah. like they have genuine concerns. Yeah, maybe, if it's like, actually genuine, like, yeah. I need someone to talk Because like some pe- sometimes some people just, I've worked with people where we just realise our styles or our direction just do not align. And it's probably best to just go elsewhere because I can't fulfil maybe the things that you want to do, especially if I want to explore a certain direction that I think makes sense for mm, the mm. company or the brand, but, and we initially agreed, mm-hmm. um, but then if you don't feel like this is it anymore, then I'm just going to be like, yeah, maybe go with somebody else, mm. but probably part ways. Um, if I feel like it's something within my remit, maybe, but it really depends on yeah. a lot of things like, did I enjoy working with the client? How was the process? Do I have the capacity, the mental capacity? Cause I can't lie mental health sometimes comes into play because mm. if you've just done a whole thing and the person has been like, ah, that's long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't lie. Yeah. Yeah. Jude? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just because I remember one situation. I'll, I'll be very honest with you. If someone, like I said, th- obviously first and foremost, if that ever happens, mm. then it's like, cool, just pay my money and go. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I don't have time to like. I can't lie. You got you're getting them deliverables, and we're not working together. Yeah, like, I feel like this as, is far, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I've done my job. Mm. But because I just remember like a situation where we were going along, going along, going along, going along. We got to let's say 85 90 percent of the way, mm. and the person said, "You know what? I don't think that um we can um continue this because our ideas are different in general." Mm. Bear in mind, this oh, is you got all this work. Yeah, who's been approving, <clears throat> approving oh, yeah. on every step? Oh, mm. approving, as, mm. approving on every step. And I think obviously the higher ups have decided she uh. she maybe wasn't doing the job the way that they wanted, and then they've after like in turn said, okay, you are the problem. When it's like, mm. hold on a second, yeah. like every single step that we've taken, I've made sure that we were both aligned. Yeah, you know. So mm. when that happened, and that what even jarred me the most is they sent me. Like a month or two later, the final thing that they did, but someone else did and said, oh, hey, this is the final thing that we did. You might want to look at it if you want some inspiration. Or um, 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 are you <laughs> mad? And I was kind of like, no, because where did that come from? <laughs> I was like, huh? Yeah, that's mad. Sorry. What? So it's like, for me, like, this is what I'm saying. So me, do you know what, do you know what I said? The, f- the first time, yeah, the first time that she said, like, Oh, by the way, like, I feel like we're not... I'd even argue. That is insane. Like, for me, like, I'm saying... Like, Inspiration! That, that is insane. And Are you The that worst is thing is, it what? wasn't even good. That's what jarred me. It was, oh, it was, it was decent gosh. at best. But the thing is, like, yeah. for me... So, so, I learned my lesson. I know Buzz... Yeah. Buzz sorry, I know Jude was like, ah, he ain't doing it like me. No, no, I, didn't, I, I wasn't even stressed. Okay. Because I'll be honest here, yeah, like, I understand that every designer has their own style and stuff. Mm. I would never blame a designer for taking a job from me oh, because never. it's never it's never it's designer's never fault. fault. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. always the person who decides yeah, yeah, and how they decide true. to handle yeah. it. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like for <sighs> me, when when that situation happened, the that's person so could have bad. handled it in a much better way. No, Do you get what I'm saying? What, what's nah, your business yeah, to say crazy, for some inspiration? That's so you. Why'd you waste time messaging me? That's so bad, that man. Like, what's the and do you know what? I should have known from the beginning. But this, bear, bear in mind, this is a while ago. So it's mm. not even a thing where if, if I was ever in that situation, I would have cut it off from the beginning. From the time the person was trying to negotiate the price. Oh, okay. Yes. I should have clocked right there. Like, ah, ah, ah. Nah, mm. you don't have the money to spend on something you want. <laughs> then you're going to give me the headache. I saw this thing on um, threads. And it was like, um, I no more, it's, it's no more like, Reduce the budget is actually reduce the deliverables. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, you will get a flat image. <laughs> no, nothing else. No PNG. Nothing. JPEG. <laughs> JPEG. You get a flat JPEG. Flat and even I'll bring flat, the you know the quality. Insane. Yeah. I'll bring the quality <laughs> to six. I will put it at twelve. I'll put it at six on Photoshop. 
So you don't even you get you get a medium quality <laughs> image that at we best. Just a, a one MV, one MV, one MV bro. Oh, I'll, I'll, bro. No, that is not even we transfer. I'll put it as an attachment. I'll put it as an attachment in the email so you can get it. It'll be quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we can go out several ways. You pay me money, you go. That's it. Uh, Again, anything else? What? That, Are you sick? No, what? I'll set the the file size to whatever they pay me. So <laughs> what, <laughs> hundred pounds. Yeah, like one oh, wait, hundred hundred KB. I was gonna say too. 100 KB, bro. Take that. Oh. Hey. Yeah. That's so funny. Wow. Man. Boy, that's stressful, man. But hey. Uh, You've lived to tell the story. Yeah, exactly. Oh, look. Again, like I, I've learned my lesson. I'm never doing that again. Speaking of fan service, I finally watched Deadpool. How was it? Was it? it was good. Yeah. Mm. It was good. I... Spoiler alert. Yeah. I think that I I feel like it was a very important movie for where Marvel is right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I feel like it just made a lot of sense. And also, I think if it's similar to what was the name of the movie before? There was another movie. It might have been a Deadpool movie as well, where they were kind of rounding up that season of the Marvel universe. Mm-hmm. I, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not a Marvel movie, but there was a lot of fan service in it. Mm. I think more. It was. It might have been an Avengers movie. Um, yeah, with the whole the Tony Stark sacrificing himself. Oh, Endgame. And, Endgame. Is the last, oh, last, okay. yeah. Yeah, that's the yeah. last one minute. Yeah, so it kind of, it kind of. I don't want to say it gives the same vibe, but it kind of does. It gave, it gave the start of a new. Yeah, it's like okay, it kind of saying goodbye to the old, exactly, and yeah. welcoming yeah. the new. Yeah, and also kind of like yeah. giving a nod to some of the characters that maybe we don't see as much, yeah. and yeah. all that kind of vibe. So it was, it was, it was cool. Yeah. It was very interesting to see, <laughs> like, spoiler alert, Blade. Yeah, like all the 20th like, century. Electra. 20th century Fox, like. Yeah, Marvel I didn't get Super the Gambit. Thing really? Oh, okay. So, sorry, I'm getting really excited because me and Obi were talking about this last yeah. night. Yeah. So, 20, 20th century Fox mm-hmm. owned, like, X Men the, and like, the whole year. The MCU yeah. stuff. So, you know, when Wolverine was did his like, Wolverine Origins film, mm-hmm. around that time, I'm so, nah, I remember my Nikki days because I was really on Wikipedia, like, oh my gosh, when's the next uh, like, Marvel film coming up? So around that time, they were planning on doing like an origin series. So it was going to be like, I think Wolverine was going to be one, Magneto was going to be another, and then Gambit was going to be an okay. upcoming film. So it was like looking at the start of where these heroes came from. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know if it was going to turn into something. I guess maybe the team new. up eventually. Maybe. Um, but obviously, like a lot of people have mixed feelings about X-Men, like the original X-Men series and stuff. Yeah. But that was like the first superhero ensemble cast situation. And then mm-hmm. obviously you said like Blade. <laughs> And stuff as well. Even Electro, like for me, like I used to love that Electro. Yeah, oh my can't god, like Jennifer Garner. Yeah, that whole Ben Affleck Jennifer yeah, Garner situation. Yeah. That was one of the best movies. Like I used to, I used to. Re- it was on one of those um, the Chinese ninety nine in one <laughs> CDs that they used to sell in Garner. <laughs> I was about to say something. I was like, that's yeah. offensive. Do you want DVD? I will say it. In that, <laughs> you that because I'm not going to imitate yeah, anybody. If, if, if I get dragged, yeah, 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 even yeah. from England, especially the South of England, you know what we're talking about. But yeah. you're you're getting your hair cut, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro is that what he's having? No, you know, and you know what's funny? Mad. I used to go to um the barber shop that Big Tipper used to like dance at. <laughs> Isn't that? Slider cuts. Oh, yeah, slider cuts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no way. It's not, it's not slider cuts. Do you mean, uh, what's it's his basic, name? It's the, guy, the Ghanaian brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um. Ch- breaking the rule, shaking yeah, the yeah. Yeah. Um, I thought that was, I thought that was. No, no, no. It's no, not no, him? No. Not no. Oh, oh hell no. No, it's different people. Oh, oh it's, it's not his name. Is it Campbell Green? But I cannot remember the name of the store. Okay, okay. They split into it. It's a guy named basically Quam's Flavor. Then man used to go there. Yeah, yeah, of course. Everybody used to go there. That was Azonto Times, man. Everybody used to go there. name, man? That was such a sick idea, by the way. That yeah, was a great bro. time, man. Yeah, Honestly, but like back so in the many day, heroes. They would just come in. Yeah, it felt like Endgame. My stepdad would just buy a couple. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Let's see random heroes come in like, whoa, I've seen you know well. I really hope Big Tip is okay wherever he is. Yeah, I think he is. I saw, I saw some clips of him. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I miss him. But yeah, I, I do feel like the movie, it was definitely a good movie. Mm. Like, too much. I feel like some of the jokes were a bit like... I can't like the first... Childish. The first scene, I was like, they're doing a lot. Oh, when yeah, like it's, it's, killing it's, it's, Hella Man, and then, but it was where they were killing them. There were particular parts of the body they kept with the skeleton of Wolf. Like, yeah, thinks of this. Yeah, it's a ama- it's an amazing idea though. But like, huh? But also, it kind of defeats. It's kind of like not real because first of all, the bones they're meant to be so hard. But I was seeing bone the bones break. I was like, hmm. as in Wolverine's bones. Yeah, and I was like, I don't know about this. How do you feel about it not? being Wolverine but it is Wolverine well that's his the body yeah. no as in the ve- is a variant 
that was in it was the main character. I it wasn't. Mind. Yeah, I didn't mind it. Yeah, I didn't mind it. Now that we have like a hundred and one, because I think that's where possibilities. Yeah, of yeah. could be someone. It's not. It's not like no one really dies them. Oh like, yeah, definitely. yeah. Basically, that's yeah. why they kept making the joke about he's gonna be doing this till he's ninety. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. it's like technically speaking yeah they can bring you back anytime yeah yeah. so that's that's very smart so do you think I mean I've not I've not read the comics like that in it but mm. was the multiverse something that was actually part of it yeah so people kind of knew that people can come back at any time oh yeah but yeah. it's comics but, so yeah. yeah and I think comics yeah. like the law is so vast like, yeah. there's, and there's so many different storylines and like different mm. things that people put in things that it's like the possibilities are endless, but now with the whole multiverse thing, like the possibi- possibilities are really endless because so, you yeah. can do anything. It's a good cure for the for the Marvel. Yeah, universe. I'll be very honest because it, it was kind of going. It's down like how what how else were you gonna top the Infinity War mm. saga? Like? Okay, so you're thinking about. I'm thinking even more so because they keep having issues. Oh, with but, like someone but, like a Kang. But this or was they, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, so so it, I, I it, think I think this this multiverse has saved them because since Endgame. You know what? I think Loki and Wonder Vision was good, very good. Very but then good. after that, it just went. That um, She Hulk is it She Hulk. You don't like it. I like She Hulk. I like it. I thought it was funny. I, I like didn't. She-Hulk. I didn't. I didn't. You know me. If it's one or two episodes, I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> Turn it off. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I enjoy. I enjoy. She- I, honestly, I like all the Marvel shows. I didn't like. Mm, okay, no, I didn't. Nah, like there wasn't all of them, bro. So which, was, which which one Captain was Captain America? Was mm. I enjoy Captain America? I there's the there's one this then... um, Asian girl in in New York. What was it? You know, you know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, uh, Miss Marvel. Was it Miss Marvel? Yeah. Oh, I like Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel, Marvel? Marvel? Marvel was probably one of my favorite With Asian ones. girl. Yeah. Yeah. Kam- that was... Kam- with Kamala yeah, Khan. Yeah, Kamala Khan. Yeah. That was that was really good. That was very good. About? You know, maybe I didn't, maybe I just, I didn't get on Sam. But I do feel like because they're all different audiences. I think this is the thing. So obviously you might be watching it thinking, this is not the way this is. Mm. But then, of course, because it's different. Yeah. And even, like, style-wise as well, because, like, yeah. the Hulk is very, like, comedic. Look at One Division feels very, like... Very, that feels, very like, very yeah. Established. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. that's because yeah. of, yeah. also, like, the... I guess their law is based in, like, I don't know, like, witchcraft and mm. magic and, mm. you know... Well, so the CGI has to bang. Yeah, like that. But also, yeah. I feel like it's it's kind of like the out-of-this-world yeah, topics tend to I be more I think enticing. One Division was incredible. One Division was great. But I feel like but, it dealt yeah. with a lot of topics as well. That's also what added to the story being really good. Like grief. Yeah. Like that whole yeah. what's love... What's grief but love preserving line? I can't remember what it was. Mm. Vision said it to Wonder Black, I think, before he died or something. I, I do feel like... Yeah, and also like the One Division series, I've, it kind of came off the back of the success of. Yeah, it was like the, it was the first one, so it, yeah, it was. Yeah, I just feel like the reason why I mentioned Loki and One Division, I just felt like they were so in sync with Endgame. Mm. And like, yeah, yeah. So you it, feel like it was a continuation it was linked to the yes. story, yeah. and it wasn't a separate yes. world oh, okay. or new. Oh, because they were adding like, are you saying because of the new characters that were added? All yeah, the it just felt a bit like you see when um, what's the other one? Eternals. I loved the Eternals. I thought well. that was. I don't understand why Again, people hated it. I found out after thirty minutes. I love the Eternals. I felt like for a film about like androids, I can't remember what they are, but they're not real human beings. Yeah, like it's probably the most like human. human yeah, I agree. Film out of like all of them, I heavily agree. emotional. Yeah, and mm-hmm. stuff as well. But yeah, people that was a beautiful really film. like. You know, you know, it's for me. Like it. I think good films, and unfortunately, I guess. Maybe in about 10 years' time or five years' time, I might watch Eternals and be like, oh, it's a great film. But I think for me, I live in moments. So when it doesn't fit the moment, mm, I might feel disconnected to mm. it. Do you know what I mean? I felt like Eternals just felt like we just had this really great period of of like cinema for Marvel. But that's the thing, and though. You're like, watching it in context. Yeah, and so I think that's why I need, to, I need to detach from that. Because otherwise, yeah. I can't Treat really them as, like as their uh, own entity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think because Marvel was so connected. You know what is it? I think it's the little nuggets you get in like at the end of the film where they show like the random clip or whatever. Like, yeah. It does I mean? tie in now. Yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously the um, Captain America the, uh, New World Order I believe. Mm. Yep. With um, Is Broski is, is um, the, um, in, was so. it Fal- Falcon? Falcon, yeah. So is he in, now Captain America? Yeah. yeah. Sick. So like, <laughs> I think maybe because also like <laughs> payback, payback time. Payback time. Um, yeah. But I guess also because they're building a new not world, but like a new story. Like we've that was like what ten years of phase one to phase what four. Mm-hmm. Like the it was a long year. Incredible Hulk, or like the first Iron Man, all the way to Endgame. That was a yeah, and long like run. think about how much we we only got like two films a year. 
and then maybe up to three, it was like staggered. Yeah, and we now had time to digest. So, now it's so like to, everything to, to get. educate me on this year, mm. Doctor Doom is he basically obviously that's now going to be what's his what's his name again. Robert, 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 Robert Downey. Yeah, I said, I said Michael. Isn't it? No, <laughs> no, I think he said. Yeah, I think he said, said Michael, Michael last time. Um, so is he essentially the new Thanos in terms of like I, in terms of that like villain? I don't know. Level, I guess so. No, not really. Not or really. we don't know yet. I, I feel like we might not know enough because obviously it's called Doomsday. So like, because I'll be honest, like, so sick, very, I mean, in yeah. in the comics, he's kind of like an antihero at times. Mm. So it will be interesting to see how is he like Loki, kind of like how Loki is like. He can be good. I feel like the Loki that we know now is way too good. Think oh, so. I think he's good now. Yeah, you know, as in like, I yeah. Like, like if you think about Loki. Yeah. yeah, initially, like, my guy was ruthless. Yeah, yeah and then yeah. now, like, Loki is... He's calm. So, I think Doctor Doom is much more evil, I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, like, he's also, like, one of the smartest, like, yeah. people, like, ever. I don't know, actually know what his power is. All I know is that he has ma- a mad amount of ego, and... That fits. He, yeah. I think he's meant to be a child of... Um, He's supposed to be linked to Kang somehow, right? There's a link between either Doctor Two because I know Doctor his Doom, parents. Kang. If I'm not bugging, one of his parents is Scarlet Witch. Huh? Hmm? I, there's a relation there somehow. I can't remember how. Huh? It's been a long time. Yeah, but there yeah, is a relation not, there. Mad. Something to do with like the families. I'm I'm not bugging. I know there's a relation there. Okay. But yeah, obviously mm. the full Fantastic Four mm. and then Doctor Doom being like one of the scientists, the whole uh. project and how it affects them with the whole exposure, the exposure yeah, to yeah. Where? nuclear yeah. Something, something. I'm looking forward to it. I think Spider-Man was good. I forgot to mention that. I think Spider-Man, they've had two good films. So they're... They've all been good. Yeah, no. Like the three. One. What? Yeah, the second one. With oh. the, when all the man came back? Oh, no, no. no that, was the, that, was, that was the third one. That was the most recent one. Okay, that was so the recent. there was the... No Way Home Mort- was... Oh, I cannot remember. Wait, okay, you go. Wait. Okay, there was the one with like the cartoon kind of animated one. Oh, that, that's oh, Into the Spider-Verse. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Into the Spider-Verse. That, that, then, there, then there was the one, the No Way Home. That's when everyone came back, right? Wait, so, okay, so you're thinking of two different... Okay, different are franchises? you thinking of Tom Holland Spider-Man or you're thinking Miles of Miles Morales Spider-Man? Miles Morales. Black or white? I'm talking about, white. White. I'm talking okay. about Jesus. Wait, both? I said there, there was two good Spider-Man films. Oh, oh but, there's, but you, no, there's, you're pulling from two different... Yeah, because the Miles Morales, there's two films. And he's not, not he's not necessarily linked. Oh, no, there is two films. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And then even in the, the Spider-Man, Tom Holland, Tom Holland. like three. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Homecoming, No Way Home. I can't remember the one um, in the middle. They've all blurred into one. Wait, what? what you, wait, How? No, in the sense <laughs> of... Because it was, he was in the multiverse. Who was? Uh, Miles Morales. Who's in, in the multiverse? He still is, but yes, 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 yes. So is he not connected? But it's I mean, like loosely connected. Yeah, loosely. It's like you so know why have they done that? Why have they done that? Because Sony owns the rights to. But I, I'm so, I need to be educated on this. I've got no idea what's Sony, going on. Sony, so Sony own like Spider Man, Venom, all. That. So they still will do their own things. That's why you have. Ah, so how can they now be doing? Because they've got a deal with yeah. Now they've got Marvel a deal. Yeah, where yeah. they're like, so they, they can use the rights. So yeah, there was a time where Marvel basically like was owned. Like the properties under Marvel that were owned by multiple different twentieth century yeah. Fox, um, obviously Sony, um, yeah, and then Disney owned some. So everybody was owning. So everybody was doing their thing. So they'll mm. buy characters and they'll make their own movies. So that's why even in the beginning, I think we had like a Hulk movie at one point. Yeah, that was mm. separate. And then we had uh, obviously, and they kind of like shoehorned it. In, yeah, into, like, so they bring it back MCU. into. So depending on obviously now Disney owns, I think most of the rights, Majority, if not all yeah. the rights. Mm. So now they can kind of tie all of it back to, together, yeah. together. Yeah. but. Even with that, like obviously Venom is still doing its own thing, but that's because yeah, Venom's that's, part of Sony. Yeah, Morbius as well. That makes part sense. Of Sony. Sony. And then even Madame Web, part, part of Sony. Sony. Oh, Madame Web apparently that it was. was that's you know what? what? As well. If it came out in two thousand and six oh, or two thousand, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's one of those films that, like, you know how people were like, Black Widow was. Eh. Black Widow was good. Though. I, I I enjoyed it. But okay, I was like, okay, because after you've given me Endgame, I don't want to go back to somebody just shooting gun and doing stunts. Like, this is me. Like you, me, no, you know what you're right. Like me and my friend Leonie. No, were that's like, not fair. No, I enjoyed me it. And my, look, I enjoyed it. It was film. a great action film. Yeah. But I feel like if it came out around the time of Iron Man One, hmm. perfect. Maybe would have. It would have yeah. probably hit more. That's only in you. context. There's yeah. some things that yeah. when it comes out to after something that's been so good. Because that was the like, first ah. film that came out after Endgame. Yeah, what, Black Widow? Yeah. That is looking crazy, bro. But I hear it, though, because it's like, if it didn't come out then, there's no when? way anyone would have watched <laughs> it after. Because <laughs> if, if WandaVision came out and then Black Widow came, yeah. Yeah. But no one would have cared because, again, it's like you have a, um, a cast full of 
men mm. and a few women. Mm. And the women who are in there, there's clearly some that are more favorite, like favored than the other. And obviously one of them died. Mm. So now they're like, okay, cool, let's do you justice by because I think it was meant to come out before the whole end game thing. Mm. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they've been writing the Black Widow film for years. Because she didn't want to do it. That's fair. Oh, That's understandable. Yeah. I wouldn't do it too. But, you know... Cause, no, because if you're going against, like, very, very favourable characters... No, but, like, people... You're thinking, like, why would I do this? Like, this, it, just, it just felt like they were, like, squeezing the sponge. Of course, trying I agree. to bring out everything yeah. before she, like... Before she left. her signature... Whoa, what? <laughs> signature. Mm. God. Mm. The little neck twist. Yeah. 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 I hear it. Yeah. And signed off and said, I'm done. Yeah. Even though she might not be done. Knowing what they're doing Give now. it a few years, she's going to come she's back. She's going to come back as somebody else. powered or something. Mm. Yeah. I don't like that though. Yeah, but also I feel like it's lazy. It is. The, this is what I'm saying that Marvel has a big problem, just because it's in a position where this whole multiverse thing has caused them to feel like they have to create this kind of continuum mm. in terms of story. Whereas before, yeah. movies could do their own thing, and then maybe once in a while they'll come together and do yeah. one thing, and they'll go with a split. Yeah. But now it's like no one cares if it's not the multiverse. Like no, but, every, everybody wants wants to be like, how is this gonna relate but, to everything but, else? But it's because of what they've done for so many years, though. That they've like laid out the ground. You've forced us, in a sense, to watch how many films and like keep up. But it wasn't even no. It, but it didn't feel like the plan. It didn't feel beginning. like that yeah. because it was a lot, a so, lot less. It's definitely going in a different direction now, though. Yeah, but again, now it's like you need to know what happened from phase it, one it to four like, before you. If, if it was know like what the happened in phase five, and that's the issue. Yeah. Exactly. If they, I feel like maybe just get a big bag, just blow it all up, and be like, yeah, we start afresh. I do feel like it's needed. I, I think like that, that's, that's what um, DC kind of did. Yeah. They low needs to blow up the multiverse. But so. that, that DC situation's a mess though. But I love the movies that they're dropping, man. Like what? The Batman one, for example. Okay, no, Batman was sick. And, and obviously the, the Joker, Joker is coming well. out. You know, I've never watched Joker. Suicide, oh. su- Suicide Squad. The second that was one? Good, you know? I even like the first one. That I can't like. But still. the second one. The Suicide Very Squad. Good. Yeah. Very good. I need to watch Blue Beetle. That's the one I Same. All the trailers look good. But this is what I'm saying. I feel like there's no patience anymore. Well, as in from the consumer. Like, yeah, I feel like the stories that the consumer is taking precedent over the story. But that, I feel like that's their fault because that they've made us these people. I don't think that the, the writers and the creators of these things have made that. I feel like it's just the company. The like, companies, not the writers and the creators. Yeah, 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 more yeah. the companies have prepared our appetite. So now, like... but They've then, manipulated our but appetite. Then, yeah. To but, want more, but yeah, we don't but, need more. But obviously, like, you know, we don't, we live, we, we didn't just fall out of a coconut tree, lol. Um, <laughs> we are, <laughs> okay. um, I cannot remember the rest of Kamala's quote, but the idea of like, we live in the context of everything that came before us and around yeah. us or whatever. Yeah. But like, obviously streaming and everything has also added to that. So it's like, you know, when you're watching a season of Stranger Things season four, four or five in like a day, and that took how many years to make? And it's like, oh, when's the next thing? It's like, oh. You know what though? I do, I do love that. One of my, like, one of the best things in life sometimes is when you found a, a very good, like, and it's like six seasons, and it's already out there. Like for yeah. me, when when I was watching Breaking Bad. Mm. Yeah. Wait, when did you watch Breaking Bad? Though? <sighs> Maybe the COVID times, four or five years ago. Oh, yeah, that was. I, oh, that I watched that. I watched you. it. Yeah, I watched so, it. Bro, I was just. Oh, it was fantastic because literally yeah. mm. nothing's holding you back. Yeah. But I think I didn't even like binge it. Like it was like a few episodes. No, you can take a day, time, maybe yeah. a three yeah. days. You know that it's there waiting for mm. you. Yeah, I agree. Like mm. having that this as a oh yeah. fantastic. We have a problem. No, I know that's like, <laughs> we do. No, they do. That I swear, like suits, because that's been done for a while. They were like suits has had like one of the highest. Maybe this was last year. Isn't highest, that because like, of Meghan Markle though? Viewing times. No, this was like long after she got married. It's literally oh, okay. because. I think it's like eight or nine seasons. Oh, people want longer shows. Plenty of episodes. Yeah. And people are just able to binge their way through everything. Can you binge EastEnders? I will never watch an episode of EastEnders. <laughs> Have you ever? Nope. Wait, oh, you're lying. Wait, what? You're lying, you're lying, you're lying. A black British man like yourself and you've not you even... You're black British? Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> I mean... Te- <laughs> yeah, te- <laughs> I mean, Loki technically. But you yeah, are, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but nah, you ever watched I- one? Never. That's insane. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I can't lie. That's insane. Never. Like, I almost avoided, like, the plague. I feel like that's I was gonna say, not me about to say oh that's anti anti Britain but that's oh, that's low key like, anti British that's weird yeah, that's low key I anti-Britain. might start Downton Abbey though nah that's crazy you're I, gonna start Downton yeah. Abbey and not EastEnders you know, I'm offended you know you EastEnders be, yeah okay. you know what on BBC iPlayer I think they've actually put like and they they know how great it was because they put like the t- 2010 to like 
the best what? years. They basically put the best years of EastEnders. Yeah, on BBC iPlayer. Nah, so you're way too excited. Come on, no, no watch. Watch. I don't, you're, the thing is, you don't get it because you weren't there. Trust me, EastEnders was a bad man show. You, Do you know, know what I used to watch? Uh, what's it that show? Um, the the theme song like da 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 um the Hollyoaks. So you watched Hollyoaks, but you didn't watch Hollyoaks. Hollyoaks was a bit weird to me. Hollyoaks Emma Dole's like, weird. Oh, I don't know, oh, what, Emma Dale, you know what? I used to watch Hollyoaks. I personally <laughs> thought Hollyoaks was the B Tech version of EastEnders. Yeah, so I don't mean to disrespect any of the actors that have participated, yes. the writers and creators of the show. I used to love Hollyoaks, bro. but really? yeah. EastEnders That's a is too chaotic. Show, it's like who killed Lucy was Who's one of the Lucy? most. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was chaos. It was a chaos. An important, not even important family, but a, a core family mm. of the, the, the Medici family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just one, there's one character. He was wicked. And in fact, there's two characters that were wicked, but they made the show great. And that was you know Mac, the guy is like Michael Moon. I was out here doing it. Yeah, yeah, him. What were you doing? Michael Moon yeah, and okay. Janine. Janine was a witch. You see when their man partnered up, yeah? Janine that was one was of the. A Weird. Yeah, she was a witch. Killed her husband. How many husbands had, had she killed? Yeah, she killed there. Plenty. But that Michael Moon oh, guy, Barry. he was... I kind of blame the husbands. Right, After the first one, you should probably get the hint. Now, to be fair, he... Did you don't get pushed like, on a uh, Yeah, cliff? of like Cliff. That's the thing. There's so many like... <laughs> <laughs> there's so many core and important like... You know what I love about Cliff, though? There's something about Eastenders because obviously it's set in the ends and it's set in the East. But like... Oh, is it? I thought it was Bournemouth. <laughs> Wait, what? Bournemouth. East Enders. Bournemouth is crazy. No, Bor- Bournemouth. East, uh, end, East, do you not East see the, dun, 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 dun. the intro with the River Thames? So you think they're just <laughs> doing it for bands? No, you're paying it. But you know what I loved about what that part, show? What part East, your East? It was made up, it was made up, but it was near Stratford. Because there was a West Ham supporters in there as well. I think, what's his mm. name? Also, oh, it's not even mm. a real place. No, no it's fake. No, it's definitely Borough Wood then. No, 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 it's not. I feel like there's, the set is... They have buses it's and they have It's set in East like, London, but it's a fake area in East London. Underground, overground. So it's like, it's like Marvel. But like for, for British TV, because if you think about it, none of it's real. That is insane. Or unfortunately, there's no multiverse. I wish there was. You'd be surprised. Imagine they brought it back. No. But um, I mean, they bring like characters see? from like 10, 20 years ago. Come back no, but that's a beautiful thing about no, soap, that's multiverse soap, stuff. Like one character that you remember from the eighties will make an appearance and will do a long run for like the yeah, noughties yeah. and then they'll disappear again. Yeah. My, that's a job for life. I need a job like that. And there's there's certain parts that like, <laughs> no, but it's just, you're always you're gonna be booked for the rest yeah, of your life. If you've appeared on that show yeah. and they like you, you're good. They'll be like, oh, you're where good. is da 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 da? And they'll be like, he's coming back. Just pick you, not from. Ob- I need to watch what I say. I was gonna say obscurity because that's also rude. But you know, I let's, hear you let's say he's giving what dance with you're, the stars. You're, you're kind of tucked, vibe. No, but like you're tucked away, like doing your thing. Maybe you're in the woods. Maybe you're in the countryside. Then all of a sudden, you, say, get, man. you get that They call. became irrelevant. And then they were like, okay, you're cheaper <laughs> now. I, let me I hire wouldn't you. even say irrelevant <laughs> because, like, you know, the way UK like acting works, it's not really, we're not really big in our like celebrity culture. Like true, that. true, true, true. So it's just like, so it's like if they kill a character off and no one says anything, but then they're like, hmm, that's actually, let's, let's that's figure happened. out a way that, that the person they, didn't die. I think yeah. either Ronnie or Roxy, one of them were like, oh, the, that potentially could happen with them there because were, we didn't see them die. We saw yeah. them drown, but we don't know if they died. Maybe died. they turn into and no bodies mermaids. were collected. Yeah, yeah. Mummies is crazy. <laughs> but I think one of the most iconic parts. <laughs> Not yours. <laughs> wow. uh, one of the most iconic parts was when like characters had to leave Eastenders. Oh, well, they, they do the turn around like. Da, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, da, there's a certain, what is this theme song? Sorry, there's, it's, there's, there's that obviously they've got to make is that rule of first for example. You see, we've got our it's main like the extended. Thing you know what it's like? Yeah. It's like Aston Martin music. You know when you hear Drake's extended section? Yeah. The coulda came yeah. back for Oh, you. that's how it feels like the Paris Morton music bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I agree. Yeah, but like that, 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 that but when you hear that music, yeah, it's, it's sad. Fair I'm, I'm still oh. never watching an episode. When though. Peggy it, Mitchell, yeah, man. Ah, what is that hard name? They, they just look at the the. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Get into one black cab. <laughs> that means they got fired. <laughs> they got fired. <laughs> Where's that like code for? I got fired. But when, once you hear that they got music, fired, here, they? they're gone, man. Ah, fair enough. It's so sad. They need to put that on DSPs ASAP because yeah, I don't I think know. it's. I'm pretty sure it's anyway. probably on. It's probably on YouTube, but not. No. Talk, I've talking again more about series. Um. There's two coming up that I'm really looking forward to. First one, 26th of December, Squid Game 2. 
Oh yeah, I saw a trailer for that. It's coming back. I don't know how. I mean, I'm not excited. Yeah, the, the one on the track, I've this one. Y- yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I really like that promo. That's a very like, smart, good, especially in this town. Good, good spin on the Olympics. Yeah, hella smart. Of course, very yeah. smart. But a bit like I was like, if the kids see this, what would they say? I mean, the kids should not be watching that. In the first this is very true. Right, they're most definitely watching no. But that. like, I I know people like kids are watching like the boys. Oh yeah, yeah. but I mean, that's 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 their own. Yeah. I was watching bad things like that cage as well. To be fair, so like, there cool. was people well to be fair. What can I say? Yeah. Wait, Good on then, them. Don't do what you watch, though. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't try that. And the second buddy. one that's coming out, which is a complete contrast to what I just said, is Love Is Blind UK. Hmm. This week. Is it this yeah, week? Yeah. That sixth of August. Is it? Se- seventh. Yeah. This. Hey. Year, Chaos. You know what? Yeah. I'm Chaos. looking forward to that one. You know? I just can't wait for I the TL to gather and discuss. I, I'm gonna be on Twitter, but I'm gonna be there. Oh, a hundred percent. I'm gonna be there. But yeah, I'm I just want to know who knows who. Because there's, there's like it's yeah, done, it's done one degree like, of separation. Someone's gonna know. Someone's someone. gonna know somebody. And I know like one or two people who were approached by Love Is Blind, like in the DMs. Like, oh, is oh, it? Like to... That's crazy. That's kind of sad. I mean, that's what they do, though. Yeah, true. But, but so. it's not. Also, it might be a compliment because they won't put anybody in there. They mm. saw you and they're like, "Yeah, you're a single. Come on the show and no, find but, love." But you don't no, you know, you know, see any real, single like, person. They don't just pick any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Yeah, this one's got a certain aesthetic. Or Jemima, like respectfully, that you have to look a certain, which is very mad at the same time. Love Is Blind. Mm. Mm. Is it though? But not to the producers. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They said business. They need to change the shows the and day. call it matchmakers at this point because <laughs> that whole love is blind thing is really, they need to let it go. The bro. thing is, I feel like the first initial season was very like, because again, nobody knows it what It works, to yeah, it works when it's like the first experiment always. Yeah. And then when people know, oh, I can get clout, I can do that's, this, I can do that. That's the thing with reality TV. Mad people join. That's the thing with reality TV that I think the, it's always going to be the first season or the first iteration of it will always yeah. be the purest mm. form of it. I remember Love Island, the first season. No, I, I never, never watched, watched it. it. The first season was raw. It felt like Big Brother, mm. but because like people... Hey, like, original Big Brother? Hey. Like, you were seeing things like raw state people, like, you know, like it wasn't censored. It wasn't yeah, produced. Yeah. So there was a lot of rawness to it and people were actually like fights. People get into it and it wasn't like, oh no, we need to, you know what And I'm they don't actually know, like, they've not watched it before, so they wouldn't know exactly yeah, how, how to yeah. maneuver yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. I, but I hear you. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't know if I'm excited for Love is Blind UK, just because Where? I feel like I like how Married at First Sight is. I don't know if you guys watch Married I at First Sight. I can't lie, I hate the UK ones. I, 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 I love watched it. the first US one. Okay. The first US season. And that felt a lot more like, grounded it felt very real and it felt like the experts were saying. genuinely trying to yeah. like help these the people within their made some um, South Africa as well that was good hey <laughs> that was hey good. you know what I, I, I thought the characters in that show even hey. the people in that show were actually real people no like, no 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 no, 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 no. I thought I, what's, I that, what's that guy that no, was no. they fully immersed themselves in because they weren't okay I'm not being disrespectful nah, yeah was, I'm nah, not being disrespectful when I say this you feel what I'm not being disrespectful when I say this, oh God. but the people that were on the show mm-hmm. didn't feel like, they felt like your average person. Yes. Yeah, which is fair. They felt but, real. But they felt real. Many Netflix shows are, the people that go on the show. in America, is, I hear you. They're very much they're very more like, like polished. Po- it feels like they're going there to be influenced. But the yeah. ultimatum, um, the US one, they look like regular people. I haven't watched that one. They do. Far. They're very, no, no, very regular they do, people. But I feel like, there's a way that South Africa, I feel like they approach that experiment. We do it just there to be, do it there, there on a the madness. No, but like, it they was, didn't care. Like, but it was, that was jo- but it was jokes, I guess so. part of me is like, is that not supposed to, I'm not condoning, but it's like, is that not supposed to be the point of the experiment? You're supposed to like, literally say, I'm not with this person anymore. I'm going to put myself no, in this thing. No, no, Even though no. some people are knacking. You were, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you were like, that, that you, can, you, you can't say, oh, like, not yeah, to I'm once. pretending, so not let me go and twice. toast, let me go and toast my wife. What's the brother's name? Nola. Oh, no, so yeah, no, 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 Isaac. Because when he was, yeah, with, Isaac, yeah, when yeah, he yeah. was, is it Ka- Kani? Kani, yeah. Kani, yeah. When he was with that base, he was like, I hit the jackpot. He was moving in a certain <laughs> way. Then when she started to pam him yeah. and show him Pepe, yeah. then he realized, oh man, yeah, yeah, I messed yeah. up. He was too gassed. How can you introduce yeah. her to your family and friends? Yeah, that's that, not that, your, that that not was, your that woman of two years. Yeah, that's yeah. wild. 
Yeah. You're mad. That is wild. I can't, yeah, man. I but should. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not really excited for that. I mean, obviously, when it comes out, we'll watch it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Mm. But I don't know if I'm like. I feel like yeah, it feels like the UK the way they are. There's not a lot of drama, so I don't yeah. expect it to be as chaotic as South Africa or America. You're right. We're That's very, that we're very. Hmm. Yeah, but the, like saying this though, Married at First Sight UK. The last season I watched was a mess. It was yeah. This but, is what I, this, I, this, I, this, I love. This, that. this is what I dislike though, because going back to early season, if anybody has ever watched the first season of the Married at First Sight US, it felt like. Some of these people are really trying to make these marriages work. They were trying. People they were trying. overcoming traumas. It was three couples as well. I think yeah. two out of three couples for season one and two stayed together. Mm. And so it now? was yeah, it wasn't like a oh we're gonna have a dinner party where the producers have obviously orchestrated a dinner party to stir up drama. It's like these people are living their individual lives. Maybe every so often they might go meet each yeah, other yeah, yeah. or they'll talk to the experts. But it just felt very like real. This one that I'm seeing now that. Oh, it's like a lot of ego involved. People are like butting heads because, mm-hmm. oh, you are getting on too much with my wife. You're yeah. getting on too much with my husband. Like, don't talk about there was a yeah. scouser, yeah, on the last season. Is it the mixed race uh, lady? No, um, he was a queer, he was a gay guy. <gasps> oh, yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I can't lie. I love a scouse accent. Yes, yeah, a scouse shows. accent, yeah. For his, like, I mean, the baby that has got a scouse accent. Crazy. You've got a baby that? No, there's, there's, a, there's a baby online. He's not speaking no, nothing. No, this is Bumble, but it's in scouse. Ah, da da like it's it's, bro, it's it's one of the wildest things yeah, I think it, I've ever heard. It, it doesn't even make sense. That's culture. <laughs> <laughs> that is culture. Right. But beautiful though. Like, yeah. Because there's definitely variations of that for like different groups, but we just probably don't notice it because Scouse is very distinct. Yeah, Scouse no, accent yeah. is amazing, man. Yeah, it is. But so it's so rounded. Such a like distinct like when you hear you're like yep, yep. I, I know what you are. A Scouse accent actually jokes. I like it. I'm trying to think what are the, what are the best accents in the UK. Oof. The best, like in in what sense, like to listen to or to just like, <laughs> like what we're talking about here. I've actually after you say this, after you say this, I got something I need to say. To listen to it. Yeah, I got I got something. Yeah, I need to like, say you know, because you know, like yeah, like are you talking about like an accent to listen to or an accent like because there's an accent that if you want to cuss someone out, it sounds better. There's an accent that if you're trying to like a Scouse accent sounds best in everything. Uh, Cussing somebody out in a Scouse accent. In a Scouse accent, I'll okay. be busting up. Would you would, I, you, would you, would you want your girl to? No. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If that's how you feel, then surely. Okay, you're right, you're right. You're so right. Yeah, imagine, yeah. imagine like the love of your life reading your. Vows I love you. Like you. yeah, it's like. <laughs> I we apologize end, for any. I will end up laughing, but then I say this, but then I do like black people with like a, if I. The Irish accent is quite cool. A black with a black Irish. Irish or Scouse, I like an Irish accent. Or cool. Scottish accent, take me. Oh, wow, take you where? Take, 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 take me, take me to church. <laughs> what, Scotland, the Scottish, Scottish, uh, Scottish uh, accent. Um, no, that, that that's a mid level for me. Really? No, Scottish is in between. Said so I'm from Edinburgh. Ah, oh, <laughs> I can't lie. The oh. Scottish accent, um, the the <laughs> women sound amazing with. Because I used to have a teacher who who was Scot- Scottish, mm. and her accent. I could like when I'm listening, I'm like I'm very attentive. Mm. When it's a Scottish accent, mm. I don't know why. I think it's very demanding. Like so what, it, lo- it's like listen to London, me. London accent doesn't do it for you. What part of London? We have to be specific because <laughs> it's like bare accent. Like there's northwest, there is yeah, there's yeah. south, there how, is east. But how different are they? Because growing yeah. up, those accents were like. And also, we, we've got to be we've got to be specific because <laughs> even those accents have accents. Because if you go if you go to like if you go northwest, yeah, yeah, and you go some parts of northwest. Yeah. A particular demographic of yeah, people yeah, yeah. don't sound the same as the other <laughs> like black north people from northwest don't sound the same as white people from northwest. Yeah. South white people don't sound the same as black yeah, south people. Especially southeast. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like mm. even you, like you're you're from east. But if, east if you if you meet white yeah. east white people from East London. But it's also it's also it's also never just white people from East London. There's also that's even separate into more accents. Because you get mm. the, the cockney accent now. Co- yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I love a cockney accent though. Yeah, people love it. I feel like so you're, like, you seem Cockney adjacent, you know? In I mean, he's from East, so yeah, I'm not exactly. surprised. I feel like it's in my lingo. Shapnick girl, yeah. you're right. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, like, can you see Sh- birds selling Sh- apple? Shapnick girl. <laughs> what, two for five? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny, yeah? Whenever I go to West Ham game... Your accent mm, pops out, in it? Yeah, 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 definitely. Because I think, oh, where was that, yeah? So, well, give, 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 let's hear it, let's hear it. No, I can't just do oh, it. <laughs> but I remember I was... Um, I was in, I I'll do it. I was in, um, I went to Winter Wonderland. This was a few years back mm-hmm. here. So I've gone with the missus mm. and um, some friends as well. And it, 
I met one of my my friend friends from like East. Oh, but he's a white boy, isn't it? So I've gone up to him that. Like, but I, in my mind, I don't think I've changed up. Hmm. But I'm just in the in that peripheral of my eye. I can see them just busting up. They're like, oh god, like who is this? Who's guy? this guy? Yeah. <laughs> so you're right, mate. How you doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're right, geezer. You're right, yeah, geezer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, just out here. With this, <laughs> yeah, you know, just a cheeky little way to walk the land. But if it, I didn't no. really realize how much. I changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I was like, nah. Like, rah, fair enough. Because you don't say rah when you're speaking to... Oh. No, I do. Do, do oh. you? I sh- mm. No, you don't. Mm. It depends. That's like a East, or I mean, East, South, London, really, rah. but black. How people don't say rah? Very Londonistan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rah. <laughs> like, oh. rah. I, I, remember, I remember like, because obviously Skegness. That's so crazy. like, when certain lingo That's would so kind of like, make its way, or like certain Londoners, at school would be talking in Skeg, they'll be like, oh, what's raw? What's raw? What's raw? <laughs> to be fair, raw. Like, oh, what's raw? Like, what's no, that? Raw? Like, that's a, probably a ter- that terrible oh, Jesus Christ. Accent, but yeah. But, um, yeah, sorry, this is so random, yeah, but obviously Juski, this is really random. Ju- <laughs> Juski came to London, isn't it? What? Yeah, to his, um, could have been records. Like, have you watched it? No, I haven't watched it, but I know it, he was here because he even did, we went is. to the thingy game as well, the um, beta squad Game. Yes, he was, the he was there game. for that. Yeah, for okay, it. with yeah. the AM, AM, what's the AM? AMP, yeah. AMP, yeah. Mm. Okay, okay. So I was watching the, the the auditions, and this was a conversation I was having with my cousins. But basically, I'm tired of people acting as roadmen. Yeah. Okay. That, and I don't think it's funny comedy anymore. I mean, it's never been funny though. But some people think it's funny. It's not. In what sense? So, it's funny to people who are not. Who yeah, don't no, know it's funny to yeah Americans are always going to find that funny they're always going to find that yeah, funny because no man will be talking and be like yo man yo so, so I'm even doing right I'm doing a, I don't know what I'm doing yeah what kind of, what yeah I don't know what this is that like what New Jersey or something like because okay let me, let me try, let me try. Yeah. so it'll be like yeah. what's good fam skiddy bop okay and I'm like who do I blame <laughs> Michael Michael Michael. <laughs> he's a he's a cause of all this he actually made he's 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 ruined <laughs> Like the the <laughs> London image. I'm sorry for you, man. Yeah, but it's my good apple's fault. What the skinny bap thing? That whole skinny bap, like yo, man's not hot. Like all that, all of that is is is. I, my I'm gonna say that's what it's for. There's though. a combination of things. Okay, okay. My, outside okay. outside of my good who is the most popular um, stereotype of it's, a roadman that you know? It's not one person. I'd probably say Top Boy is more of a thing. No, you can't blame Top Boy for that. No, nah, top, top Boy is Top Boy. But is it's top. like a, things added together that have resulted. I agree. In thing, I think. But is general, in general, like I think for that to be the representation, and even the whole roadman concept is, it doesn't make sense because if you want to see real gang bangers, they're not hey. trying like that. <laughs> they're hey. not like that. I'm not like most of the people who have met, who are on road, they sound like regular people. Yes, they don't say skinny. <laughs> they sound like regular. They don't say skinny bap. Nope. Ski, who says, <laughs> bro, no one says skinny bap. No one says but, skinny bap. On the juicy thing, the guy was doing irre, irre. I was like, <laughs> that's like a character. That, that, no, that's like bap, 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 That's crazy. <laughs> What's gonna start saying chung thing? Yeah, it's like, oh yeah. But it's like that's so funny. Update, update the vocabulary. Uh, like we don't talk like that no more. How old was he though? Maybe you might be like an older generation. Like, right, right, right. What's that? Like, right, right, right. <laughs> 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 ah, that's so dumb. Like, how did we get DJ, here? DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nah, it's crazy, man. But no, I blame Michael Dapper Loki. I think it's more than. Just nah, it's a combination. It's, that, it's definitely combination, a combination. Sure. But I do genuinely believe. <laughs> I do genuinely believe that. Michael Dapper has made it very like the comical idea of a roadman like personified. If everybody thinks about like especially outside maybe of London, it's, maybe what you think of it? Maybe it's skip people in general. Then no, nah, because I'll say there's so there's do you remember MB Bants? Yeah, he's from like Enfield, um, and there's also Paps. You know, yeah, Paps. Yeah, 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 I feel like Paps if he was his roadman is actually a realistic if he was to it's not over over the top it's not over the I don't even like roadman let me just say well it doesn't feel like it's for like a white audience so I would yeah. also say yes so I and I think it too. a lot of it is actually you know what I would say a lot of it sometimes it becomes inauthentic because you're trying to water down something so you make it sound yeah. really rubbish yeah make whereas, a joke basically. yeah whereas when Pat's is doing it I can literally see somebody doing that mm. and it actually makes me laugh because it actually is and he doesn't just play one role 
he plays yeah bare roles. You know, what I, I mean? think even so, there was one where he was um, doing it with like a big mum. Yeah, and it's like oh, like how she's not trying to say oh that's my missus, like trying to like play off. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man's not exclusive. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, how yeah, Roman yeah. like just the cool. They try to do yeah, this cool yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. but it's not like skinny back with a jacket on. <laughs> and I, like bro, that's just too much. But I'm sorry, like. I don't know whoever runs the Hoodman Association, but they need to jump like these men because they take the piss on time. Because, no, honest, oh, honest to God, yeah. Like, so this is not like, the representation not the that matters to us. Like, there must be a union somewhere. A union is like, insane. They need to unionize and, and be like, nah, nah. This Because you know how, like, if you go to America, <laughs> there's, a, there's a particular group of people who, yeah, fair, do you know what I'm saying? Fair, and, fair. And, they, and they don't play about their That's image. That's funny. Mm. Like, I do genuinely feel like, you know, there's some people who, like, they need to be like, that's pushed on and be like, no, nah, you can't do that. Like so many white youths on on on, on social media doing yeah, these like, roadman, roadman. But hey, yo, boss man, but this, <laughs> boss man, can I get two rings and a chip, please? This is the thing. I feel like because like, what? I feel like because black UK culture, especially like black London culture, mm. is so like global. It's so that global. everyone just thinks that even somebody I think was imitating Philly, right. and I was even like, oh yeah, I don't like this. It was was it accurate? Yes. Was he white? <laughs> yes. Was it funny? No. Yeah. Was it? Uh, it was. But you, I don't know. Something, if, at that point, you might look like, Something about <laughs> if it. If you're me, laughing, yeah. No, something about it for me still was like, mm, I don't know if it's like funny as in we're all laughing together. Or we're laughing oh, as not a, funny. Ha ha. Funny weird. It just felt, it just yeah. felt off. And then maybe it's like the, um, the co- he was too comfortable. Like, right, okay, you actually went to imitate this person. Was it a good, yeah, it was probably good, but it's like, mm. you actually thought of doing this and you did it. I don't mind that though. I feel like if, if you can get away, if you can actually be funny, then that's cool. But I'm telling you, because funny. it was accurate. Yeah, that's funny. But like, I don't know. I think sometimes it's just like, ah, know your place. To me. Yeah. Me, I'm, me, I'm saying, let's laugh, man. Why not? Where? Till it happens to you. Of course. If it happens to me, it's not going to run. Mm. But who's going to imitate me? There's nothing to imitate. Hmm. Yeah. You'd be surprised. Yeah. Really, you, you know, I won't go into that rabbit hole, but <laughs> what I want to say, the internet is a very dark place. Yeah, I hear yeah. You. It's more of a real compilation of you right now. <laughs> yeah. And there's, there's, there's that running jokes off you, I hear it. It's about yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Recommendations and shout outs today. So, Jude, would you like to start us off? Oh, it's me. Yes. I thought it was good. Okay. Um, I've got two today. Um, first one is by a director called uh, Ola Adedigi. 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 Like, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I'm not even Yoruba. I don't know why I'm. Okay. I should mm-hmm. care. Because imagine I was right and you were wrong. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. She's got um a short called Sexy Born Yesterday. Oh. It's on Vimeo. Okay. Uh, okay. It's a really, really good short. Like, amazingly short. She, she's got a great eye in general. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it, if you get a chance, you check, definitely check it out. It's on Vimeo. Um, just search Sexy Born Yesterday. Um, And then the second one I've got is. um. By a friend called Juvenile Maze, um, he's a he's he's a, he does a lot of things. He's a songwriter, producer, and a filmmaker as well. But he has this short um, film he did recently, um, which is on YouTube as well, uh, called "What Is Real," mm-hmm. um, where it it kind of it's an interesting kind of like mix of music, film, and it is kind of like his alter egos and how <clears throat> they interact with himself. So it's a really really cool um, visual. If you have the chance to check it out, yeah. So, uh, my recommendations is a uh, first album by Tendai, uh, which just dropped. Um, I think Tendai is amazing, bro. Yeah. Um, it sounds. I don't know if it sounds wild, but he, okay, it does sound wild. And forgive me for it, but he has this cadence of Michael Jackson. Everyone says this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's not okay. No, thank God. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, just me. Yeah, because no one does that. Those little that. Like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. So he's released... Okay, phew, I'm happy about that. He released an album called um, The Rain the on Rain, the 1st yeah. of August. Um, it's like... Alter- what is it? Alternative what? It's good music. Yeah. It's, I don't, it doesn't have a genre. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. I can't... It doesn't have like a mm. genre. Anyway, it's like rock music, but it's not rock music. But it's like... So, nah, anyway. There's a lot of uh, different elements. In yeah, there, yeah. Yeah. And the second one is an interview with Tremaine Emery. Um... Hmm. So yeah, okay. I, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, obviously, I did generation. I think they got bought up by a Complex. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, yeah. So Are you they, serious? Yeah, yeah, they're part of the group anyway. Isn't that Noah? From, he was part of Complex before, no? Who? Noah. Noah. 
I can't remember his last name. White guy with white guy that Luca, right? Oh, with the yeah, yeah, I yeah, think he, I he come, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, on, it's on Complex. I love that for him because like, he was originally part of Complex and he left. Left, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I guess they just acquired it. That's sick. Yeah, so um, and the interview was really, really good. Mm. Um, spoke about like Denim Tears. Is that where he talks about Virgil? Yeah, Vir- there's, a little, there's a little clip. Yeah, I think I've seen a clip. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. about Virgil, Kanye, leaving Supreme. Mm. And even he had the health scare as well. Um, also getting married. So like, it's, yeah. it's a really deep thing. But I think what I enjoyed about it is just, I don't know, this is inspiring. If you mm. want to feel inspired, I'll definitely recommend to check it out. So, yes, man. Okay. Um, my recommendations, I'll start up off with a designer. So, on Twitter, there's a couple, like, Nigerian, like, designers and artists that I follow. Um, one really great designer, his name is Jobson Chisa. And name? he Jobson. is a brand and type designer. Yeah, very, like... Yeah. And he, like, he's been doing design for, like, a, a while, but he's quite a big voice i guess in the nigerian okay. design space and like seeing like how community is like built around him not built around him but he's involved in and stuff it's been mm. really cool to see but also like his design work is amazing mm. um so yeah he's a type designer as well so he made this typeface called um Ojuju, Ojuju, O-J-U-J-U. um and it's been cool to see because it's like people have been using it on like design sprints oh, okay. and like for maybe for some products or like for some like social I'll stuff and campaigns and stuff as well. I'll send it in the chat. But yeah, it's been yeah, it's been really cool to see his journey, but also his exploration with type. And mm. the type feel, face feels, feels very like Nigerian and very mm. like authentic to us. You know how sometimes people come up with African typefaces and they feel very... Like, what is, of, yeah, I know exactly what it's going to be. Very ethnic <laughs> sometimes. And this is, yeah. Mm. But this is feels like a... Like quite contemporary and fresh. That's nice. But just from the lens of a Nigerian designer, which I think is really, really That's cool. nice, nice, nice. So there's him. I also recommend an artist based in um, California, Ian Woods. He's a a collage artist, I want to say. Mm. So he does this really cool thing of almost like superimposing two pictures together, but he will like cut out and like stencil out one image and place it on another. So well, I feel like I've seen this. You've, you've definitely yeah, seen his work. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's really cool. I've been following him for ages. I really want to buy a print. But yeah, I, I think like... he even did the artwork for this artist called Ogi. Probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I'm not mistaken. And he had a campaign with Spotify for frequency, I think. Nice, nice. Because there was another design that I was going to recommend who they collaborated on. I was like, oh my gosh, like people are like, yeah, yeah, colliding yeah. and stuff, which is really cool. But yeah, I love his artwork. Nice. I think my favorite piece, he's got like a really cool Zendaya one with mm. a shoot with like ABGM did one time nice really great um and then i'm last person i'll recommend is he goes by mella yella on twitter i feel like he's a very chaotic individual he's a designer he's worked quite for quite a few like music agents agencies music labels Mm. and stuff but so he does like i guess campaign design stuff for like rollouts album rollouts single rollouts and all that stuff but in his spare time my guy will be making all manners of memes and like edits (laughs) And they're so chaotic in nature. Like Kamala Harris recently will be like superimposed on like Megan the Stallion's body or um Beyonce. But it because he's an expert in the field, like it looks good mm. as well. And when you see some of the edits, you're like, oh, okay, like how the heck did you do that? Yeah. Or it's mad time consuming. <clears throat> I think um there's a really good one of like Beyonce and Blue Ivy. You know when they do their dance in the oh, yeah. World Tour? My guy found a way to superimpose like 50 different clips people will just be like oh can you add this person lady gaga jumping at the top of the super bowl oh. he added that in um chloe bailey doing a dance move added that in so it's to the point where like the image just has loads of different like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And stuff but like he's just on it like That's on the cute, post and stuff yeah. and like essence fest i think hired him as a um a creator so like i think janet jackson you know um victoria Renee had her performance on essence first mm-hmm. so he found a way to edit her and Janet Jackson together. Wow. Nice. And that was really cool because like oh. some of the stuff referenced yeah, Janet Jackson Janet, and yeah. stuff. So yeah, like really cool creative people, man. I love social media for that, but yeah. That's it. Amazing. So good. <laughs> so good. So good. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Another episode. Yeah, man. This is episode 80. Yeah. Oh my God. We're getting old. 80. Yeah. It's crazy. Anyway, thanks for supporting us. Thank you, guys. Bye! Thanks, guys, for tuning in to today's episode of Wool of Thirds. Feel free to share your thoughts with us using the hashtag Wool of Thirds Pod. 
And for more from us, follow us on Instagram at Rule of Thirds Pod. Or our personal accounts for myself, Burns, Burns JNR, Mike at underscore man like Mike, and Jude at Kente Kwame. Catch you guys in the next one.